the current laws are tilted heavily in favor of the union in terms of what they can do versus what workers in the state of Washington can do. People who work for state and local government are often forced to pay union fees as a condition of keeping their jobs. This is the story of Dan Vary and 107 other workers at Washington State University. After years of paying dues to the Washington Federation of State Employees, Dan and other workers decided they didn't want or need to be unionized. They successfully decertified their union in 2006, but that wasn't the end of the story. A year later, the union came back. The um, activists from the union came in and literally buttonholed individuals in our workplace uh, to sign a card which people were led to believe was simply a request for information. In reality, the union gathered those cards and turned them into the PERC with a petition to organize. And the PERC Commission chose to invoke the card check rule. We were then informed that we were unionized against our will and had to move on with our lives. We had to wait for a two-year period before we could do anything to try and undo it. We attempted to go through the processes step by step and file for decertification. Unfortunately, we missed a arbitrary 30-day window to file the petition by one day. And so as a result, we were forced to immediately wait two more years. We assured ourselves that at the next opportunity, we would try again. So last year in March, we found the window and on March 15th, we filed thinking well, this will be easy, we'll have a quick victory. However, the petition was suspended. No one can give us any indication of when it might be uh, resolved. Union bosses often claim their organizations are democratic, but Dan's story shows how unions disregard democracy when they don't like the results. What's really unfortunate is that state law favors union leadership over the workers. Today, Dan and the other workers in his bargaining unit are caught in legal limbo after years of trying to rid themselves of their union. My experience says that, that the laws are currently heavily weighted in favor of the union to be able to accomplish change. 